All right, everyone, welcome back to more Man of Medan. Wow, this, is this game taking off, man? Woo, I love it. I'm addicted already. I can't wait for the next installment of the uh, anthology. At the time of this recording, uh, nothing has been announced or teased yet, so uh, who knows? Anyway, without further ado, my name is Raven from the Sky. Are we safe now? Okay. See if there's anything in here. What do we have here, huh? I'm almost scared to touch anything. Wow. Uh, extra guard duty and regulations due to the special security precautions on this mission. Additional procedures must be adapted by soldiers on guard duty. No talking, no playing of games, no smoking. No alcohol, no gambling. Wait. The sternest of punishments. Ooh, including court martial. Wow. Okay. Nobody's allowed in three A. I wonder is that where we're at right now? She's like way ahead. Jeez, maybe this is what scared everyone off. <laughs> Dirty clothes. Maybe. Try to explore what we can explore so we can unlock those premonitions just like in Until Dawn. something oh god stalls that's your worst nightmare in a heart oh <laughs> did y'all catch that okay Dear Ellis, I'm finally coming home. This is it, darling. One last trip across the Pacific, and I'll be back to you and the girls. I can't wait to see your faces. Tell Dad and Nancy to get excited. They're going to see Daddy real soon, and he's got gifts for y'all. I'm sure glad to be back at sea. It's harder than an Oklahoma summer out here on an land, and there's no escape from it. I've been all right because I got your letters to keep me going. They censor them. Which is probably for the best, because sometimes the others steal them to read, and I don't like them reading our letters. I know. Oh, wait. 
Maybe something on the back. Yep. I know. Really creeps me out. He keeps telling me there's a little boy on board, and it sounds like Ted. I know he's just messing with me. There ain't no way we got a stowaway. Our ops guys are far too slick now the water is over. I bet they'll edit this a bit out. This bit out, but it shows what a place can do to a guy. That's true, though. I gotta go for now, honey. There's some commotion outside. That usually means I'm about to be real busy for a while. I'll write again soon, Robert. Jesus, what's next? A stowaway. Little boy from the first episode. Dude was here. You think Conrad's made it? He can be pretty resourceful when he puts his mind to it. That's not really an answer. Well, <laughs> then, sure. I think Conrad's made it. Oh, great. You hear that? Yep. Something moving around down there. What? Like what? I'm not sure I want to find out. We gotta keep going. No. <laughs> Big boat, big engine. Okay. It's just a book, is it? Okay, here we go. June 19th. Identified problem areas with structural brittleness and cracks in some sections of cargo hold 1. I excuse me. I instructed our shipwright to carry out the necessary welding repairs. I advised the captain to go easy, especially in bad weather. Any aggressive movement could cause the ship to break its back. I responded to a complaint that some electronic equipment had been malfunctioning recently. I discovered growth of tin whiskers. Tin whiskers? What the heck are those? Around some of the components. I cleaned and added lead to the soldiers. I mean, I'm sorry, to the solders, which had stopped the equipment shortening out and should slow down the growth. Okay, how do we... All right, I conducted thorough weekly engine room inspection of fuel oil and fluid, which showed lower levels of cylinder oil than expected. I have reminded staff in the engine room to be attentive and vigilant with their hourly checks and to alert an engineer if there's any loss of pressure. The ship was caught in a heavy electrical storm which began shortly after midnight. The lightning strikes caused a lot of electrical arc arcing traveling through the hoisting cables aloft deck which was left damage, which has left damage. The grease has boiled up and destroyed some of the cabling. I have received reports that the main problems caused by the storm or with electrical equipment at the moment. It's likely the tin whiskers have, help, have helped the matters. Despite the rough sea, there have been no reports of any structural damage. However, I'll have to work through the night to make full damage assessment. Okay. Tin whiskers. Which way were we going? Okay, we were going this way. I 
need to lose these pirates and get the heck up out of here. That's what we ought to do. this thing it's a skull a mini skull what? Oh! oh my god certainly right dude keep it together yeah keep it together you and me both you and me both It's telling me to move. I was in shock. Okay, we got another journal. Let's take a look, shall we? Okay, now. The skipper has KO'd the booze for this whole god darn trip. There's nothing like being sober to make you realize just how quiet the ship is. There was a fight between those dumb smuts, Wilson and Anderson, right after we sailed. But Ferris nipped that in the bud real quick, and it's been quiet as a church ever since. I got talking with a feller who had helped load up the ship. He told me they put a bunch of coffins on board, which isn't so weird, maybe. Maybe B. He said there was some guy who made sure the coffins were all put and one of the holes just right. Real precise. Not the treatment you'd get if you were any old grunt. Got me thinking. Who could it be in those boxes? Booze was a bum loss. Pereira said he felt drunk after four cups. But I said he was talking baloney. It was like ditch water. Pereira said they made some hooch from some supplies they lifted. Meeting up later down six to check it out. Just heard some of the guys here snuck a look at the boxes. Gonna go find him and see what he saw. Maybe he can even help me get get him to take a look. It's all set. He reckons he can sneak me in. I wanna take a look tonight. It's all off. The guy who was gonna help me get in the hold has been signed off sick. Doc Finley thinks he's some kind of flake, which might be true. But Miller says it's something else. Something weird about that place. Miller's kind of a twitcher. Wouldn't want to be caught in a pinch with him, that's for sure. Perez said that the boys made more hooch, too bummed out to sneak and try some. But what else is there to do? New batch is worse than the last one. Never listen to any darn fool idea from Perez ever again. Last night I was on duty with Wallowick. And gosh darn if he didn't creep me out. He got spooked and started babbling about some sergeant called Jones that went MIA in the jungle. Reckon that Jones and his crew were the ones in the boxes, traveling home just like us, saps. I sneaked a look and Jesus, there it was, just like the guy in the port had said. All laid out real nice, all glory over each one. If, it is, if it's Jones in there, they've done him proud. Good old Uncle Sam wouldn't leave us, any of us out there. He can make sure we all come. Come, come, come. Wow. That's it? I was enjoying that. Shoot. Enjoying that little story. Oh, wait. Is it? Give me a signal. No, that was just the light. Okay. Offering. I mean, oh, the offing. Uh, what?
Got to be ready. You never know when you get a quick time event in this darn game. And they got screwed over. Caught off guard already. Plenty of times. Isn't that the part to our boat? We gotta get that somehow. Hudson. We don't want to get caught by that dude. He's got a sledgehammer. Safe to grab it. We gotta go get him. Y'a quelqu'un? Ok, qui est là Je vous ai entendu. Qui est là Ok, she's still alive. Arrête de crier, j'essaie d'entendre ce qui se passe. Je crie pas. Ta gueule. Je veux savoir où sont les autres. Alright guys, I'm going to stop it here for today. Thanks for watching. My name is Raven from the Sky. If you enjoyed the episode, drop a like and subscribe to the channel and the series grow. Alright, take care and I'll catch you guys in the next episode. Peace.